It's not unknown that during the summer months, a central heating pump or any kind of water pump really will seize up. Most heating engineers will know that it's not unusual to be called out for a pump that's not working. Very often it's because they've been standing still during the summer months and the bearing and the seals have just corroded slightly and the motor's stuck and really all it needs is for the top of this to be taken off. Give the spindle inside a little twist and the motor will run perfectly well. On occasions though, that might not be what the problem is. It could well be that it's the capacitor that's gone. Um, once you've got it up and running, that's fine, but you'll find that if you go away and leave it, if the capacitor's gone, when the motor stops, it won't start again. So, you know, ideally what you want to do is you start the motor running, switch it off again, and see if it will start on its own. So this is just a little demonstration really, just to show you what happens if the, if the capacitor's not working. First of all, if I turn it on with the capacitor connected, we can see that it started and it's rotating quite freely. If I now turn it off and disconnect the capacitor, need to be a little bit careful just in case it's holding a charge. Okay. If I plug it back in again now, we can see that the motor's not started. If I give it a spin, You'll see the motor is running now quite freely again. And I could be excused for thinking that if I turn it off, it's going to run normally anyway. But if I unplug it, just let it stop for a moment. Plug it back in and we can see that again it's not started. So just a bit of a spin with a screwdriver and we can see that Again, it's working perfectly well. If I take it apart and reconnect the capacitor, we can see that it will work perfectly every time. Okay, so to switch it back on, the capacitor starts the rotation and away we go. Really the object of this little demonstration is just to show that if you're called out and a central heating pump isn't running, first of all you can check that it's not seized up just by taking the cap off the front and giving it a spin with a screwdriver. If it starts to run, that's great, and it will keep running until obviously the heating's satisfied and it switches off, but before you leave, you need to make sure that actually it was the motor or the pump that was seized and not the capacitor. And the demonstration I've just carried out would show you how to test that.